Phillies hosting the Marlins. The Marlins are plus 210 on the money line. The Phillies are minus 255. The over-under, eight and a half runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright. You win, they lose by one, you win. And the Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Chirinos did not pitch against the Phillies last year or this year. Suarez pitched one, seven shutout innings. They won that game eight to two. He struck out nine. The weather in Philly is supposed to be 89 degrees, 10 mile an hour winds blowing out, and a 44% chance of rain, so a good chance that this game is going to get delayed. And the fact that the Phillies are heavy favorites missing Schwarber and Harper, I, I don't know. Head to head, the Phillies are 6 and 4, the home team's 5 and 4. The favorite is both 6 and 4 on the money line and on the run line. The under is hitting their last two. The over is 5, 4, and 1. And the over 8.5 runs is 6 and 4. There have been three one run games in their last 10. The three one run games were all games that the Marlins won as an underdog. The Marlins are 2 and 0 oh in Chirino's two starts. The under hit in both of his starts. He pitched five innings in both games 1.5 ERA, 5.5 strikeouts, 1.5 walks, 0.5 home runs. I'm going to round it down round it up and say 80 pitches and uh about 15 pitches per 16 pitches per inning for the phillies they are three and two in suarez's last five starts they've lost his last two starts the under is three one and one five innings pitched 5.6 hits 1.6 runs 1.2 of which were earned 4.4 strikeouts 0.6 walks 0.2 home runs 76.4 pitches and 14.1 pitches per inning the marlins are Two and two in their last four. Six runs, 11 runs, two runs, five runs. One run and a loss, seven runs and a win, shut out and a loss, and then three runs in a win today. And for the Phillies, two and two in their last four. Eight runs, 11 runs, two runs, five runs. Six runs and a win, four runs and a loss, two runs and a win, two runs and a loss. I'm going to take a shot here with the Marlins. I think that the fact that the Phillies are missing a key part of their offense is going to make some of these games be lower scoring. I'll take the Marlins with the money line, the Marlins getting the runs and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.